All right. <clears throat> Good morning. This is Melissa with Color All the Things. I am back. Yay. I've done some more. Not a whole lot. Um, I did have to go into the office yesterday, so I got like zero coloring done because I worked late. And when I came back home after picking up my kids, um, we were at a day camp and they had a blast, I have to say. And I will be doing that again. Um, but, uh, so I, I worked from home a little bit when I got home after picking up my kids. And so I, I think I finished the mushrooms and I started doing, uh, the tree things here. I did have a request to use Arteza pencils um, uh, from Bethann, I think. Oh god, I hope it was you. Um, and I was going to use it on the flowers, I think, because I, I really like um, little hair. I hate when I just got out of the shower. I literally just woke up. I told my husband to let me sleep in because I worked late at home last night. And I was just like, ugh. Anyway, so they have some really nice, like, color, purpley, pinky colors in here that I really want to use. Um, like, I want to use flamingo and lilac and amethyst, I think, are the, are the three I want to use. Um, so I was going to use those in these flowers. Um, and then we're getting to it. Um, I might actually use some of the colors uh, depending on how well they work on like I'll try it on on this uh, I've never tried Arteza's on this paper so I'll try it on like this flower if it works out cool I may actually also do her wings um, I was gonna use maybe pinks I don't know I don't know what color I want her dress and I don't know what color I want the poof under here or the stuff over here or this or that or this or that or that and that. I, I still don't know. Um, I saw, I colored her hair. You can see that. I used the Derwent Light Fast pencils. I haven't actually put their little taggy on. But here they are. Um, they are I mean, you have a couple, like, Arctic is really, really light oysters, really, really light purple. Um, but then you have, like, these really dark, dark colors. And they go off pretty light. Um, I was going to use the greens, but I don't see a green that I want to use. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use some of the greens for the, just the little leaves over here. The grass thingies. But I think I'm actually going to end up with. Uh, the luminance for the grass. I'm I, I'm pretty proud. No, what are you getting into, Miss Marvel? Hold on. Sorry about that. I totally knocked my desk to just a second here. I knocked everything. Sorry about that. The cat was trying. So my husband's got his desk and then he's got a shelf up on the wall and she really wants to get up there really really bad and we don't want her up there but anyway so for the hair on her I used the yellow ochre I think I used sandstone and sienna and then I used the really dark like natural brown um, and I think I probably used brown ochre as well and wheat and then that was, I just did strokes, and then I went over everything with the wheat to kind of blend it together. Um, I took the yellow ochre to give it a more yellowy, but she's got like a brownish yellow, a, a light brown hair color. Let's see, let me go back to my really now. Alright, let's zoom in here and finish up these little, um, just little twig thingies. So I've got these done. I've got one down here. I forgot to do the leaf on here. So, um, let's see. Instead of getting back into my
polychromos. I just pulled the uh, the moss green. Um, let's see. So I'm using Castle Earth. Why are you a naughty kitty? No. No. Stop. So naughty. So some castle earth here. No! I'm going to get a spray bottle here in two seconds. Stop it. Go. Go. I don't know where my spray bottles went. Of course the other one likes it. Stop. No. <sighs> they just like being naughty this morning. They got their good food. Both of them have been that. So this is a olive brown 50%. It's hard to see the names on these after I've held them for a while, and so the names have like, I don't know if you can see that, but the names have rubbed off. I used um, clear nail polish over top of them to save what was left, but a lot of them have already... No! Quit! Hold on. Oh my goodness, I don't know what has gotten into those cats. Miss Marvel was chewing on the uh, cords. Uh, let's see, brown ochre. Only thing I really don't like about the Lumons is trying to read the damn names. I'll tell you. And then this is olive yellow. Which just gives the stem a little bit of a green hint to it. Because these are they don't look big enough to be like Stick sticks. They look like they're still growing their shoots, so they still get a little bit of a green hint to them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see. Over here. Sorry. She was back for the uh, cords. I don't understand. They have never chewed on cords. You're just going to have to stay out of my office. I don't trust you. So that was Castle Earth. That was Brown Ochre. And the olive brown and then the olive yellow I really do like the feel of the luminance on this paper it feels very nice and we've got one here so let's see it's gonna have to be kind of dark back in here Just because it's right behind that poof. A little bit of frill. And then brown ochre. I just bought a t shirt. I haven't bought a t shirt in forever. Miss Marvel. So, 
I bought a Doctor Who shirt. Let me see. I bought a Doctor Who shirt with the TARDIS and a nebula. So, I'm excited. I haven't bought a t-shirt for myself in a while. Oh my god! Why are you kidding me? I don't understand these cats today. They have never acted like this. Maybe if I open up the front door. One second. They like looking out the front door. And my door wasn't open, so I opened it. Maybe that'll give them something to do. Maybe they're just bored. Maybe they're mad we left them alone all day yesterday. Because I went to work. The kids were at a track out camp. Dave was at work. Maybe they were just lonely yesterday. Now they're mad at us. I got this one. Putting in some shadowy areas in here. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I caught two seconds of Belinda's stream last night because I was I just finished working. I was coloring. She came on. And then I realized the time. I go, well. So then I was like, well, I'll just pop, say hi, go to bed. So that's what I did. Does this seem like a lot of work for just some little twigs? Sometimes I think I overdo it. But, oh well. It still looks cool. It looks pretty, right? that cast of earth to go down dark enough you would think and because I mean this is castle earth right here it's pretty dark my colors are off I don't know what to do to fix that oh I've got auto white balance I don't know. I'll have to play with that some other time. I don't feel like doing it now. But Castle Earth can be quite dark and it's just not for whatever reason. Oh well. There's that. Alright. I want to get out and put these colors back. So Castle Earth probably went right there next to Sepia. You 
you and you. Cool. Now I want to get, let's see, flip over the Artezos here. I said I wanted, yes, honey. I said I wanted flamingo. Macaroon. No, that's too. So let's do flamingo. Yeah, let's do purple iris and then amethyst instead of the lilac. Purple iris. I said amethyst, right? Purple iris. All right. I have never sharpened amethyst. That's still new from the factory. I did get a new Tagal sharpener. I'm going to use those. Or they use this, that. Um because this is what I'm taking on vacation with me. Oh, come on. And not my hand crank. So let's see, we're gonna do the, the little guy up here. So I'm gonna take my Pink flamingo. Kind of do an all over light layer. Again, this is pink flamingo, purple iris, and amethyst. Of these I did also take. Um, my clear nail polish and paint over the names so they wouldn't rub off because they do rub off. They rub off very easily. So our next slide is, is the purple iris. So I'm going to do like kind of flicky strokes. dark and do flicky strokes then come back over with the flamingo I guess I didn't actually need to put the pink flamingo down first and the artesas aren't too bad on on this paper they do feel like they build up fairly quickly, um, so that if that's, if you like doing a ton of layers, that, that may not be what you want, but I'm okay with just putting down three or four layers on these. I'm not trying to go too fancy schmancy. So, and what I'll do is I'll variate um, the intensity, so some of them will be pinker, some of them will be more purple, and I'll just do that. Um, so now I'm going to try without, did I already do pink? I may have already done pink on that. Actually, I'm going to grab the charcoal. Because I want to do... Um, and I do this first because sometimes I can't get the layer down. If I've layered too much, I'm going to do a shadow right there. 
So back to the purple iris. I'm going to flick in. Flick it. And then the amethyst. Get in here and get it really dark. Click it. Then come back over with the pink flamingo. And that's cute. A little, a few defined flicks. You know what I mean? They stand out a little bit more. There we go. Cool. That worked out pretty well. And go back in with the charcoal here if I can. Let me just give that a extra shadow. Excellent. So this time I'm going to try it without the pink first. So this is the purple, purple iris. Do, do my flicks. Go in with the amethyst and do some shorter flicks. I'm not going to go up as far as I did with the purple iris. I'm going to do all over flamingo. I'm not pressing hard. This is just a light layer. I'm going to go back with the purple iris and define a few of those flicks. So there we go. I like it. <clears throat> Lose my voice. Go with the amethyst to make it kind of dark. I'm actually going to take the charcoal just do a little bit just to darken up cool I like that there's a paper issue there we go Every time I go over it with the uh, pink flamingo, I have to redefine those purple iris. That's okay. That is okay, and for some reason, let's pull one that way. Cool. All right. So now I have to turn my book, just because of the way I'm flicking, um, I have to keep in line with the uh, petal. So this is charcoal. Put that down first here. Drink. We had a big old storm here yesterday. I, uh, I have a crepe myrtle out front and the bark peels. It is, it's just a function of that type of tree. Um, but I have like bark peels all over my yard now. Big old chunks of them. Let's 
which I'll have to go and clean up at some point this weekend. Which is always super fun. Really don't know what I'm doing with the background at all. <laughs> Like, at all. Ugh. I'm actually avoiding working. I haven't even started working today. I'm avoiding it a little bit. Um, there's a job we're helping out with. And uh, the project manager... doesn't let things go so it's always you know here's she'll, she'll give you feedback on something you're like cool I'll fix that sorry you know it won't happen again and then three months later you get feedback on the exact same thing you're like yeah we already addressed this cool not happening again thanks and then six months later, you're like, look, we've discussed this. I don't know what more I can say. It's not happening anymore. I have fixed the issue. What do you want from me? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, needless to say, we're not happy to be working on her project at the moment. And we're trying to finish it. Um, but I'm avoiding that. I worked on it last night um, so it would get done faster <laughs> you know let's see we'll say these these flicks they can make a, a thing go pretty fast I mean, it's not taking a whole lot of time to, to work these petals, you know. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Let's get this other one down here. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I'm kind of in the zone, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm at that point in a picture where I'm close enough to being done that I'm kind of excited to see it finished. But I'm far enough away from having it done that it's kind of dragging now. <laughs> you know. Now I'm thinking of other pictures I want to color, and you know how that goes. I know you know. So, I'm going to try not to rush through this. I do want to finish it before I go on vacation. I, <coughs> I think I'm going to end up taking my Pablo's. Maybe. Probably going to take this book. Might work on this one next. Um, probably going to take this book. Maybe. Yeah, because spirit animals won't come to my house before then. 
Um, so I'm probably going to end up taking this book and just working on it slowly. Um, I don't know, it's going to be hot there. I don't want to take pencils that will melt, you know. That would suck. So I think our tazas are out just because they are super wax based. But then I have the luminance in this thing, and I don't necessarily want to take it. Grr. Grr, I say. Grr. Take my Albrecht Dures and use them either wet or dry. I suppose. Alright, so those are the pink that I'm going to do on that. That's pretty. I like that. Those are the flowers. I have to look up what does a baby robin look like? That's what we need to see. What does a baby robin look like? Baby robin. No. Oh. They almost look like real robins. Look at that. box and she likes to pee in boxes I'm trying to keep that from happening until I'm done with the stream I'm put the box away oh look at that oh, those are gonna be totally luminance look at that baby bird oh my goodness let's look at the baby bird while I pick out colors I'm totally going loomy with that. Because that's totally like Castle Earth or Sepia. Probably Sepia. So, which one? That's Castle Earth. That's Castle Earth. That's Sepia. So, Sepia. <sighs> Brown Ochre. What are you? You're an orangey color. What are you? Burnt ogre. No, I don't want you. No? Are you the f and you're 50% burnt? Burnt ogre. No, I can keep you. Let's do brown ogre. Sepia. Hmm. Let's do the full on burnt ochre. Where are you? Is that you? Yeah, burnt ochre. Raw sienna, I think. Raw sienna. What are you? Brown ochre 50. I need you brown ochre 50. And then totally a white. The white. Mm. Probably a French gray of some kind. Or sepia 10%. Do that. Sepia 10%. Are you sepia 10%? No, you're French gray 10%. Or sepia 10%. Are you sepia 10%? Hmm. 
No. Where is sepia 10%? There it is. Here's sepia 10%. Cool. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to prop you up so I can look at you. I try to work on this bird. Let's, let's work on his beak. I really need something like a cool yellow. No, oh, Naples, Naples yellow. All right. What are you doing? Why did you do that? You Naples? Yes, you are Naples. So, now I'm not going to get it exact, and I know I'm not going to get it exact, but I would like to try to get something close to what I'm seeing. The worst part, well, I guess they do kind of fit. This was a brand new one, so let's see. So that was Naples Yellow I first put down, and now this is Brown Ochre 50%. I'm not going to get it exact. I know I'm not going to get it exact. It's okay. I want something kind of resembling let's see burnt ochre 50 I want something that kind of resembles a uh, robin baby robin I like how it's a brown and red bird that comes out of a blue egg. I, something about that just tickles me pink. Then this is burnt ochre. Seriously, just grabbing colors. It does have a little bit of a darker spot right up here. over with the Naples and call that beak done. Beak. 
beak, beak. So, around the eye, a little bit of this yellowy area. Just mapping out some stuff here. There's a yellowy cheek area. Around that is a little bit of a grayish area. There's a little white area under his chin, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Let's see. It's actually a lot of the dark sepia around its mouth. And its head. Let's see if I can just keep everything going in short little strokes. It will look like feathers, right? Right. I will probably have to pull the black here. Just because I usually always need to. Just to deepen some of that sepia area. Um, and then probably a darker French gray, right? Yeah. Do straight French gray. So I am just trying to keep short little strokes. This is going to take a long time. Such a long time. I am not going to make you guys watch me do that's black. All of this. But you get the idea, right? Sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm trying to keep the feathers going in the direction I think they should be traveling. I feel 
like I should see if Zargot's got a uh, video on feathers or something. I'll take the French gray in with there. I'm going to mix up some of the colors so it's not just all one. It gives a little variation, depth of color, you know. Also, because it's still just a baby, it's going to have some of the baby feathers in there. And those looked like they were a little gray. Um, let's, see, let's go with a touch of black, especially around the beak area. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it looks okay. Woohoo! Um, let's go. With, and I'm going to have to keep some sharp pencils for this. Uh, the sepia 10%. Get that in there. I'm actually going to draw in um, a little bit of this burnt ochre. Probably just going to have to do little areas at a time like that. I'm actually pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> Back in with the sepia. Really trying to fill in um, some of those darker areas, trying to have like no paper come through. Whereas some of the other areas I'm going to let paper come through. So maybe not exact, but I think close enough um, that it will turn out pretty okay. I think, I mean I could have used, I guess I could have used the um, light fast pencils because I, I would have gotten the same colors out of them. but. I grabbed Luminance, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to try to use this picture. I'm going to save it. Um, I'm going to try to use this picture for my baby bird. And then I think I need to actually hop into work. Blah, blah, blah. So, this is over. Uh, next time you see me, hopefully I will have the bird done. And the flowers, and I'll be working on something else. And we're going to, we're almost done with this pretty, pretty page. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying how it's coming out. Um, I'm excited for the bird, even though it's going to be so tedious. Oh my God. So tedious. Um, I'm kind of excited for how it's going to turn out. So thank you for joining me. Um, Bethan, I hope that helped with some Arteza. Um, it's not a full page, and I understand that, but I wanted to get something in for you. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys. I got one more week until vacation, so hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, FYI, links are in the description down below. They're affiliate links. Have a great day. Bye.